students. Good afternoon, everybody. So you can see that the laburnum top, the laburnum top. Sir. Yes, Navin. Sir, good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sir. Sir, I have doubt, sir. Sir, how how can I contact that group member, sir? So everything I will tell you later. Now we can just go through the poem. After the class, I will intimate everything. Okay, you can see that. Yes, sir, so sir. The laburnum yes, top by Tetox, right? You can see that reading of the poem. Very primary reading of the poem. The laburnum top is silent, quite still in the afternoon yellow September sunlight. A few leaves yellowing, all its seeds fallen. Till the goldfinch comes with a twitching chirrup, a suddenness, a startlement at a branch end. Then sleek as a lizard, an alert and abrupt. She enters the thickness and the machine starts up of chitterings and a tremor of wings and thrillings. The whole tree trembles and thrills. It is the engine of her family. She strokes it full, then flut out to a branch end, showing her bad identity, face identity mask. Then with the airy delicate whistle chirrup, whispering, she launches away towards the infinite and the labanum subsides to empty. You can also see that once again, reading of the poem, primary reading, you can see that the labanum top is silent, quite still in the afternoon, yellow September sunlight, a few leaves yellowing, all its seeds fallen. Till the gold finch comes with the twitching syrup, a suddenness, a startlement at a branch end, then sleek as a lizard and alert and abrupt, she enters the thickness and the machine starts up of chitterings and a tremor of wings and trillings. The whole tree trembles and trills, it is the engine of her family. She stokes it full, then flirt out to a branch end, showing her bad face identity mask. Then with every delicate whistle children of whispering, she lunges away towards the infinite and the labanum subsides to empty. So before entering into the poem, we can also, I can also give you some comparison. For an example, I can compare labanum tree and of course goldfinch. Goldfinches are labanum tree. Labanum tree, just a minute. Labanum tree. Yes. I can compare labanum tree with school buildings, a school. And it's when the school is alive, when the children are, when the children are in this building, in the school, that means, you know, when the school is running, like we can take that, it is moving. So when the school, when the school is, uh, you know, uh, uh, we are taking that when the children are coming, when the children are present in the school, you can also see that how the school will be like, you know, we can also hear the rhymes, we can also hear the recitation, we can also go for the footsteps, many things we can, it will be always, you know, alive and active always, it will give us energy whenever we are visiting, we are coming across, we are going and visiting like, you know, you will get energy. So Lebanon tree, here I'm taking that Lebanon tree means all the school buildings, all the schools, all the school buildings. During the holiday, during the vacation, you can just go and visit that. It will be, you know, very silent. Nothing will be there. We can sit and we can just, you know, calculate the buildings. Of course, we cannot, you know, get some blossom. So when the students, when the students, like I am taking that gold finches are students. So when the students are present, the school will get the energy. And of course, it is like, you know, blossoming of flowers and we'll get the fragrance. We'll get the fragrance in the sense, you know, that will be alive always, be active always with energy. So we can get the activeness. We, we can get the, we can get the you know that energetic things in the school buildings. Like when the when the students are leaving the school, when the stu when the, when the vacation comes, we can you know we can see that the buildings will be very silent. Likewise, here there is a poem, the Labanum Top by Ted Hooks. We can also take that. It is related in a September one to November thirty. We can we can consider that as an autumn season, so seasonal effect. So that's why in the afternoon, yellow September sunlight, labanum tree, the labanum tree, and we can we can also guess something. And I can also compare. I can also give some ideas before entering into the uh, poem. So when we are, you know, when we are totally tired enough, when we are totally, you know, exhausted, when we are totally lost our energy, when we feel bored, we need some energy, right? We need some energy based on we can take for. Uh, uh, it's like uh, energetic drink, or we can go for. We can have a tea, we can go for a coffee, we can something, you know, we need. For an example, I can say that end of the day, the whole day we work, end of the day we need a drink, end of the week we need a weekend, end of the year we need a vacation, something, you know, we need. 
something will stimulate stimulate something will energize something will give us motivation right after getting that particular thing we will also motivate we will also we be motivated and we will also and take it everything we can also resume our work like so something you know we need as it is here the laburnum top is expecting something the laburnum tree was expecting the presence of the gold finch so laburnum tree already you know what is the meaning laburnum tree and then uh, gold finch it is a singing bird you can also underline the word it is a singing bird let us we can take that it's like you can also go for something it's like a rabbit activities of a gold finch we can compare with the robin or sparrow a rabbit rabbit in the sense then are occurring in a brief a period of time speed related which is coming and creating giving the energy and leaving the things so you can also see that this this end of form is related to uh, you know it's like a repair a repaying relationship between the laburnum tree and the gold finch so it is a repaying relationship between the laburnum tree and the gold finch but right so in the first stanza while reading that the laburnum top is silent the laburnum top is top is silent quite still something you know it was expecting you can also see that when the children are coming to the school when the students are coming to the school the classroom will be the school will be you know it's like it is like a brimming river you know what is the meaning of brimming river overflowing that means you know that that sense and activities when all the children are for an example in a family some relatives are coming we are just you know welcoming the things we will also get energy we will also be very happy we will also celebrate or it is like you know celebration days coming and going like you know you can energy, you can also connect with that the laburnum top is silent the top is silent the laburnum tree was silent quite still still we can have two things still you know it's like uh, motionless are waiting for someone's presence the laburnum top was totally expecting the presence of that particular gold finch which was already had connectivity with the tree and that and, and of course the gold finch had a nest especially in the tree that's why always coming visiting and of course leaving the tree so that here our you know poet has chosen that so in the afternoon yellow september sunlight and he was just mentioning that in the climate condition and of course the background we can also get that in the afternoon yellow september sunlight totally it is like you know yellowish in yellow in color because of the seasonal effect because because of the seasonal effect in the afternoon yellow september sunlight the laburnum tree is silent quite still and we can also see a few leaves yellowing becoming yes yellow in color that shows the season that means autumn or fall and of course we need to mention that all its seeds have fallen of course you know seeds fallen that symbolizing that symbolizing the season autumn season or fall we are taking that in that particular season particular afternoon when he was looking at the tree the poet was experiencing the poet was taking all those experience and he was mentioning that till the gold finch comes you can also say see the second stanza till the till the gold finch comes that means you know when it comes when something you know after seeing a motivational video after listening to a motivational speaker speech we need some energy we need some motivation right so after getting after the presence of for an example when after your school when you are just you know going to your a uh, home and just knocking the door you are standing in the door step and just over knocking the door when your mother opens the door comes and opens the door with smiling face you will be you know energized like you will receive some energy after drinking your tea or coffee with by your mom so something is related so it was waiting for the presence of the gold finch bird till the gold finch comes with that twitching chirp all those things are synonyms like twitching you can also underline the word twitching chirp which means sudden jerk moment and chirp in the sense a bird making repeated high pitched sounds and of course startlement a suddenness a startlement at a branch end so it is an activity of purely it is an activity of uh, it's like we can go for a sparrow or we can go for a robin or we can go for a gold goldfinch it is a, it is a, like we are taking that singing bird right activity that means you know that attitude activity of that particular singing bird when it comes when it flies like you know so as suddenness that means abrupt or sudden moving a startlement that is also a surprise to one some, something in you know, a sudden moving rather moving so here a suddenness a startlement at a branch end in the sense it comes it comes and it will you know it is like you know it is about to enter it is about to enter or reach the particular nest it is in the 
laburnum tree. You understand that? Because the whole family was waiting for the presence of goldfinch, the mother. You and take she or her, right? So till the goldfinch comes with the twitching chirrup, a suddenness, a startlement at a branch end, then sleek as a lizard. The, we, the poet is using simile as or you know, like then sleek. You can underline the word sleek in the sense we are taking that as smooth moving. And of course, as a blizzard, that means, you know, very cautious. It was very cautious without others, you know, um, attention. It was just moving inside, uh, taking part. So it's like then sleek as a, moving smoothly as a lizard or like a lizard and alert and abrupt. It was very cautious. Do you understand that? Because it was just, you know, moving towards its nest. That means its nest and in the nest, her family members were waiting. That means, you know, mother will come and give us food. something, you know, food or whatever it is, waiting for the feeling. So that then sleek as a lizard and alert and abrupt in the sense, it was a sudden moment. It is like, you know, very conscious and just, you know, moving and just, you know, sharing the things with the family members. She enters the thickness. You can underline the word see. She enters. Of course, my metaphor also, personification also, transferred, fitted also. Alliteration also, the poet is using the poetic devices. I can go for figures of speech. The poet has used in this poem. So she enters the thickness. That means, you know, that means she entered. She enters the thickness. Underline the word thickness means, that means among, among, among or inside, in, among the leaves. So she enters the thickness among the leaves. And when she saw the family, a message starts up. You understand that while looking, while looking, when we are searching, when we are waiting for our mother's presence, something, you know, they promised. They promised we will go, we will purchase something and we will give you later. Like, so we, we have been waiting for that with curiosity, right? We will, we have been waiting with curiosity to receive or see the things that means surprise what the mother or father is going to purchase for us. Likewise, or something, you know, you're waiting for your food or something, you know, the father has gone and the mother has gone and, you know, we are waiting for their arrival. So here, all the family members in the sense, you know, that means later, younger ones, all the younger ones were waiting. So all the younger ones were waiting here. When she enters the thickness and reach the nest, a machine starts up in the sense that activity that was in a very quick moment, something, you know, that was... Uh, something is after getting some energy it is like you know superman or something we are also after receiving energy we will sow so here the the tree after the before that before the present something you know the lebanon top is silent now it it just you know starts up like the message starts up of chittering chittering off chittering underline the word chittering means chirrups chirrups means you know already told you that a bird making repeated high pitch sounds that means you know because of that presence of the mother. So all the younger ones, something, you know, it's like shouting and uh, creating noise and waiting for the things what the mother brought. So likewise here, of chitterings and a tremor of wings and trillings. And a tremor, unless the tremor means it is jerky moment of wings. You know, what is the meaning? Wings, tremor of wings in the sense, it's like, you know, involuntary vibration of the wings from the goldfinch bird. It is, it is a normal activity. It is a normal, how we are, you know, just, you know, running and walking like it is flying like the bird was flying like. We are taking a tremor of wings and trillings. Trillings also short and high sound. Short and high sound. We are taking that and trillings and entered and of course met the family members and started to feed. Then the whole tree trembles and trills because of that activity. That activity when the goldfinch was feeding the young ones by that activity, the entire tree, the whole tree trembles. That means shaking. You know, what is the meaning shaking? Because of some effect and impact and influence. That influence or that impact, the whole tree trembles, shakes and thrills. And like the word that means thrills in the sense get, get excited. You know, what is the meaning excited in the sense when we receive? When we receive a trophy, when we receive success, we will also so something that means you know we will be it's like you know we will also tremble or we will also show the thrills get excited that excitement we can also see that so a tree also not only the family family of the goldfinch but also the tree 
got something excited that's why i am just mentioning that the poet has here mentioned that the whole tree trembles and thrills by the presence of that particular gold finch for that presence only the gold the tree was waiting that's why before the presence after the presence that the uh, labanum papa sigh now it is you know get getting excited like so the whole tree trembles and thrills it is the engine of a family so we can take even both the family and of course the tree we are taking that the engine of her family so it is the engine you can underline the word in the sense the gold finch is the engine of a family so that all the family members were waiting eagerly for the presence arrival of the gold finch after that arrival they started to trembles and show the thrills excitement because of the presence of course and then and of course the inner food whatever they received so the whole tree trembles and the thrills it is the engine of a family so after the presence after the arrival of the gold finch even the tree becomes you know it's like vigilant or we can go for violent or somewhat you know energetic energy energized whatever it is something you know it's like a happiest moment something we are sharing we can also get blossoms like you know we can also after drinking something that means after eating something after seeing something that means after meeting something after after getting something after doing a prayer we will be energized you know we can also show something after taking and after doing meditation after doing some yoga exercises we will be energized we will also show some you know so we will also show our energy level capacity and everything as it is here after the presence arrival of the gold finch the tree became the tree became somewhat you know energetic one and excited one so that it is the engine of her family not only the family of gold finch but also the labanum tree and she stokes that means you know it's like it's lightly and she stokes it full then flat out something unlike the word you can have a closer bracket flat out in the sense it's like you know flat out f l u t t e r flat means you can write that act of moving back and forth it's like wink briefly or it's moves its wings so flat out to a branch and something and it's like rabbit activities of a bird already told you that it is no rabbit means done are occurring in a brief period of time speed quick quickness that means that was very quick you can also see that you can also watch you can take a photo you can take a snap you will understand that how much it is quick maybe you can go for a, a sparrow or you can go for robin or you can go for goldfinch and here we are seeing the goldfinch in the sense singing bird goldfinch in the sense singing bird we are here we are considering that you can see she stokes it full then flat out to a branch and in the sense here and there it's like moving here and there they're searching something and finding something ready to leave away ready to go away like showing her bad face and in the bad face in the sense you can see that face having stripes on it something you know we 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 cannot see easily we cannot be very close you know it's like a close uh, proposal panoramic view we cannot see that it's like you know we cannot see very properly a bird in a clear picture so it's like showing her bad bad face in the sense face having stripes on it face identity mask only the trees only the leaves of the tree uh, have seen that we we can we cannot see that very properly that means that contact and connectivity you understand that only the trees leaves have seen the face bad face identity mask of that gold finch that means all the tribes on it on the gold finch in the gold finch that appearance is yes, simply it is a very small creature we cannot you know zoom it and we cannot see that but it has connectivity with the tree the so that all the trees leaves have seen that so showing her bad face identity mask in the third stanza and then after completing its process that means in ambition or the task then with airy underline the word airy then with the airy delicate you know what is the meaning delicate underline the word very strange very very soft activity airy means strange activity then with the airy strange delicate very soft and tender whistle chirrup whispering that means you know it was writing it was preparing its herself sorry she was preparing herself to leave away going for another task that means and again 
that the goldfinch has to you know get food for the family members that means the younger ones so it is a task that means it is a work it is it is the duty it is a moral support it is everything that means you know the survival of the family members so that here after completing after feeding the younger ones then with airy that means airy means a strange delicate very soft and tendency tender whistle chirrup whispering then she launches away see you can underline the word goldfinch launches away that means you know flies away underline the word launches away that means flies away towards the infinite that means you know in, in there is a hidden meaning infinite in the sense infinite infinite sky of course you know it has to fly so infinite sky after completing its task after completing its work the goldfinch flies away towards the infinite sky that means in you know, searching another things searching another for the next you know next maybe it's like you know we can go for uh, <clears throat> breakfast or we can go for lunch or we can go for dinner whatever it is you know it is a duty it is a routine work of uh, a bird or whatever it is we are taking so then with the every delicate whistle chirrup whispering she launches away towards the infinite sky and the labanum subsides to empty that means you know after after the a departure we can take that after her departure after the departure of the goldfinch or after her departure again the labanum top becomes silent that means subsides to empty in the sense underline the word subsides means comes down or uh, come down to empty in the sense nothing again the same before the before the presence after the presence like you know why we are taking that so when the labanum top comes and of course visits the tree the tree gets energized that means excitement because of the activities of the laban uh, of the goldfinch and its family and our family members so all those things the poet that hooks mentioned in the poem covered in the poem the labanum top so once again i'm reading the poem you can also see that the labanum top is silent quite still in the afternoon yellow september sunlight a few leaves Yellowing, all its seeds fallen. Till the goldfinch comes with a twitching chirrup, a suddenness, a startlement at a branch end, then sleek as a lizard, and alert and abrupt, she enters the thickness, and a machine starts up of chitterings and a tremor of wings and trillings. The whole tree trembles and thrills. It is the engine of her family. She stalks it full, then flutters out to a branch end, showing her bird face identity mask. Then, with a very delicate whistle, chirrup, whispering, she launches away towards the infinite sky, and the labanum subsides to empty. Wait a minute. You can just look at that. yes now you can see that see the pictures the labanum top now we can see the pictures labanum tree then gold finch and our poet tetooks and the poem the summary 
a central idea of the poem. You can now see that the central idea of the poem. The poem, the Lebanon Topaz, a beautiful poem. Topaz is a beautiful poem in which the poet has used the Lebanon tree and gold fringes as a symbol of life and its fluctuation. In this poem, the poet describes how the visit of a gold finch changes the Lebanon tree. Already I told you, that's why I just compared with the school buildings and of course the students' presence in the school, right? So here changes the Lebanon tree. The gold finch transforms the tree and makes it come alive as the chicks of the gold finch start to wrestle and chirp on seeing her. Once the gold finch leaves the tree, it becomes quiet and still again. That means once again, the tree is waiting for the presence of the gold finch. That means, you know, we can go for a customer. We can go for a customer when you are, you know, having a departmental store or whatever it is. Likewise, in a customer or whatever it is, we can go for something, you know, everything. By the presence of people, it will be alive like. The labanum tree symbolizes the pattern of our life in general which is usually dull and inanimate. You know, what is the meaning inanimate? You can also see that. Then the gold finch breaks the usual pattern and makes it lively. The gold finch, that activity, through its activity, through her activity, it, uh, no, the gold finch, she breaks the usual pattern and makes it lively. So without the gold finch, the labanum tree, labanum tree is just like another tree. In other words, it is the attitude of a person towards life that makes life meaningful and worth living. So we need some energy. We need some motivation. We need some stimulation. By, that, by this wonderful and beautiful poem, we can also have an idea about our life. That's why it is in the last words, you can also see that in other words, it is the attitude of a person towards life that makes life meaningful and worth living. You can also underline some of the poetic devices I can name out. You can also note in your textbook. You can see that alliteration. So first a poetic device the poet has used, alliteration. Then second one, simile. Third one, metaphor. Fourth one, personification. Fifth one, transferred epithet. Transferred epithet. You can underline the word alliteration. A L L I T E R A T I O N. Alliteration means repetition of the initial consonant sound. A repetition of the initial consonant sound is known as alliteration. So alliteration, you can write September sunlight. September sunlight, S, yes, consonant sound. September sunlight, comma, you write, tree trembles, tree trembles, T, T, trembles, T, tree trembles. The next one, simile, you know what is the meaning? Use usage of as and like we are comparing two different objects with the usage of as and like so here we are using as sleek as a lizard as a lizard you can underline the word as a lizard means like a lizard like a lizard the gold finch was just you know moving in the thickness to reach to see the family members so sleek as a lizard similarly you can write then personification, you write, personification. The whole tree trembles and trills. The whole tree trembles as a human being or we can go for living beings. The whole tree trembles, the whole tree subject and trembles for. Trembles and trills as a human or living being. You can write that, personification. Then metaphor, you write metaphor. An indirect comparison between two things. It is an implied, implied simile. Metaphor. She enters the thickness and the machine starts up. She enters the thickness and the machine starts up. Metaphor you can write. That means an indirect comparison between two things without the usage of as and like. It is an implied simile. And examples you can write. She enters the thickness and the machine starts up. Then you can see, it is the engine of her family. It is her engine of her family. It is the engine of her family. Sewing her bad face identity mask. Sewing her bad face identity mask.
then you can write transferred epithet transferred epithet t r e n s transferred t r e n s f e r r e d transferred epithet e p i t h e t epithet and write the example her bald face is identity mask her bald face bald face face and bald mask and identity an adverb will come and explain the meaning another noun like bald face is identity mask identity mask you can underline bald face you can underline remaining we will discuss in the next class now you can get ready i am just sharing the things with you you can also go through and get an idea or the weekend test